I'm going to give you all a quick cheat sheet to solving your jaundice. If you have predominantly an unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, it's hemolytic jaundice. If it's predominantly conjugated, it's obstructive jaundice. If it's both, it's going to be hepatocellular. When you look at the LFT, if the liver enzymes are normal, probably hemolytic. If there is significant elevation of transaminases, hepatocellular and significant elevation of ALKFOS, it is going to be obstructive. When you look at the urine, if your urine is pale, probably hemolytic. That's why it's called echoluric jaundice. In hepatocellular and obstructive, it's going to be dark. When you look at the urine analysis, there is going to be unconjugated bilirubin in patients with hemolytic jaundice and in patients with obstructive jaundice, the urine analysis is going to show bile salts and conjugated bilirubin and everything is going to be present in hepatocellular jaundice. When you look at the stool, stool is the exact opposite. So, pale urine and dark stool is hemolytic jaundice, whereas for hepatocellular and obstructive, you have dark urine and in obstructive, you have pale stools. So, if you found this topic useful, read the caption below to learn more about this topic.